So we are asking, now that you see the DSS well, at the invention of his home in the bad and claimed they saw AK-47s, they saw all of this, but his lawyer is saying, nah, he has no case against uh, Nigeria. So he's in Germany right now. He has uh, left uh, Cameroon to Germany, which where he was on, on, he was on his way there before all of this panned out. So the big question I have on this is, so now what? Well, it's, if he's been free, it means that he can return to Nigeria. He's no longer a fugitive from the law. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if um, the legal matter arising from this has been withdrawn because I understand that you know there is also a legal matter in this. There's a legal side to this. There's, there's a court case involving this. So perhaps the court case will run and then he will be free while the court because I mean he will be presumed innocent. But I also think that we should take this opportunity to also wish that this will be the first step in a series of steps that will eventuate in the release of his opposite number on the other side of the Niger. That's um, Mazin Nambikano. That's mm -hmm. what they call him, isn't it? Yes. And so I hope that this will also be a prelude to, because I mean, their circumstances are identical. These are people who felt uncomfortable with the Nigerian system. And then they questioned, you know, the territorial integrity of Nigeria, not in a violent manner when you look at it. Yes, the rhetoric must have been you know, raised up a little. But the truth is, some of the questions these gentlemen raised are questions we ought to look at. We operate a federal structure, and yet it seems that it's a unitary system. We have a situation where everything is concentrated at the center. Every part of the country at that point, or most of the country, we have, you know, feeling neglected or feeling marginalized. And so they, they resorted to, you know, pulling out of the union. And all that you would have expected that the government that is responsive would have acted towards them by, by maybe not open conciliation, but, you know, you listen to people, find out what their opinions are, find out what the reason is for their agitation, see what questions, what, 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 you know, options you can offer them. But we see a situation where the government, as usual, you know, went after these matters as law and other matters, rather than as matters de demanding better attention. Because when people raise questions, rather than just dismiss them, you, you, you engage those questions and then look at what is substance and what is chaff, as it were, and then you, you remove the wheat from the chaff and then you address the, the, the wheat. Unfortunately, we are not seeing that. And part of the problem we are facing today in the South is with regard to insecurity, are outgrowths of things like this. And so I think it's also a lesson that, and, and it also marks in a, a departure from what used to be the case in the past. It means that with this now, the present government has signaled its in, intent to engage meaningfully rather than to go after people and then just label them and then you know make them flee out of the country or as we've seen in the case of nam de Cano, you know just lamb them into detention in perpetuity i hope that this template will be taken up and then this will also be spread to all the others remember and by the way this may be some sort of digression but it's also important it's relevant to this remember also that you know uh, the previous government also engaged the people they had labeled terrorists the people who actually have been bombing and taking over just a particular section of the country, the, go the government engaged with them, even offered them amnesty, even tried to reintegrate some of them into the conventional Nigerian army. So I, I think the same thing, what, as they say, what is source for the goose should be source for the Ganda. Since this has been done with um, my Sunday Bo, I think it should extend to others also or in a similar situation.